Ladies and gentlemen, here is a quick list of things to do in the beginning of Season 4 in order to optimize your journey and get the best possible gear in the shortest time. The first thing to do when you log in is go into the middle of Odraken and pick up the weekly quest. It will force you to do some old content but it's a must do because not only it's going to give you a chest that contains a piece of gear that's probably going to be an upgrade but it's also going to give you the sparks that you need to craft some items. So pick that up on the characters that you're gonna be playing and don't forget to complete it as fast as possible. Up next the easiest thing to do is go and do M+. Pick up the highest possible key that you can do, no matter what that number is, because not only has a chance to give you better gear, but it's also going to be giving you resources to upgrade that gear later on. The other big suggestion that I'm going to give you is do a world tour and do each of the dungeons in M+, at least once, again, at the highest possible key level that you can. And the reason for that is that you are going to get IO score for each dungeon that you do, which is going to make you look better on paper for future runs. Think about it this way, if somebody's making a pug group and they have to pick between two people and you've run all the dungeons but somebody else is missing dungeons, your IO score is naturally going to be higher no matter how high keys you both have done. So that will make it easier for you to get invites and it's also going to get you closer to your IO goals later on when we exchange and you can do both fortified and tyrannical keys. Only after you're done with the world tour you can target a specific dungeon and go after a specific piece of gear. And of course if you can do at least 8 dungeons to fill all the slots in the great vault that's going to be best. One more bonus tip here to make everything easier, watch some guides for both the M plus and the raid so you're familiar with the fights and the mechanics. Wipes are inevitably going to happen more often in the beginning of the season but if you can minimize that number it's going to make the journey a little bit smoother. Even if you're not raiding try to do the raid for the first few weeks even if it's just on LFR. You should have no problem whatsoever to put it on normal even heroic and the raid is important because not only has the potential to give you better gear and resources to upgrade it, but the new currency, bullions, comes from the raid. You can use that currency to buy trinkets, weapons and other things. Right now that currency is being dropped from the raid bosses, you're gonna get one for the first week, two for the second, etc. So obtaining that currency and using it is going to be crucial in order to gear faster. I'm combining the rest of the tips in one section but you're going to acquire different ways to get gear in season 4, namely you can be crafting items, you can be using the catalyst and you can use the mansion bullions to buy gear. We're gonna be getting one spark per week and we're gonna be getting one catalyst charge per week so you have to use them aggressively as they're going to be piling up quite quickly and there's two strategies here. You can always wait until the end of the week to see what you're gonna be getting in your vault and then decide what to craft, what to use your catalyst charge on etc. But then there's always the scenario where it's this rare trinket from raid that you know you're not getting because you're a healer and the DPS is going to be priority or certain item is best and you know you're gonna be crafting it there anyway. In those scenarios don't wait just create the gear as fast as possible so you can use it in the content that's gonna be coming up. And again, be aggressive, you're gonna be getting catalyst charge every week, you're gonna be getting bullions every week, so there's no point for them stacking in your bags or piling up, they'll be of better use if you use them right away. So those are my top tips for the beginning of season 4, good luck during it, let me know if you have better tips in the comments below, I'll see you guys in the next video. Now get out of here.